adults has transported from a small restaurant to the largest restaurant chain in the world. But how did it manage to expand so much? What is the secret of McDonald's success? Let's uncover the answers to these mysteries in this video. Once upon a time, there was no other delicious food besides the hamburgers of McDonald's. The McDonald's brand is renowned in the world of fast food. The story of McDonald's dates back 80 years to the establishment of a humble kiosk in an American city, which has now expanded to thousands of branches worldwide. Over the years, McDonald's has introduced and popularized fast food culture in America, becoming a vital element in the collective memory of different generations. Let's dive into the table of the birth of the McDonald's brand, its growth, present day identity, birth of the McDonald's brand. The year is 1937 and the curtains are closing on the dreams of Hollywood for the McDonald's brother, Richard and Morris. Their Hollywood theater dream has crumbled. They've invested everything in renovating their theater and there is little left in their pockets. Now, they must watch the sandwich vendor across the street from their workshop, which is busy and profitable. Richard and Morris, realizing that the money is in food, launch their first sandwich kiosk called A Dome. They sell hot dogs and hamburgers to the public. Their kiosk is conveniently located near an automotive racing track, bringing them good fortune during races. Unfortunately, during non-racing times, they struggle to attract customers. The solution is to relocate to a city in the eastern United States, familiar with fast food culture and always with customers. That city is in San Bernardo, which citizens from the working class and a place where they can open their new restaurant with a bank loan. The year is 1940. And the first time the melodious family name of these two brothers appears on their shop sign, McDonald's Barbecue. Food at McDonald's is offered at very reasonable price, and it doesn't take long for a large crowd with the highest demand for hamburgers to form. Out of all the 25 items on their menu, only the hamburger, fries, and drinks remain and the rest are eliminated in favor of higher speed and better quality. Selling a hamburger in 30 seconds! The McDonald brothers have chosen the right place for their affordable sandwich shop, not only because the majority of the population in San Bernardino constitutes a less affluent class, which is an important reason, but the main reason for the success of McDonald's fast food is the presence of American culture, or what is called fast food culture. In San Bernardino, the culture of fast consumptions is prevalent. Everything is fast-paced. Workers have to travel a long distance from home to work and back every day, and they don't have much time for cooking or standing in long lines to buy food. Now, the McDonald's restaurants has managed to create new culture in America called fast food by reducing the waiting time for these people and providing their requested sandwich in just 30 seconds. The quick preparation of food with the design of a hamburger production line at McDonald's was an event that led to an innovation in the global food industry. McDonald's grows bigger. Have you ever wondered about the astonishing speed of food sales at McDonald's? McDonald's, with a design resembling a production line in its kitchen, managed to achieve this unbelievable record. But why stop at just one restaurant? McDonald's, with this speed, can become one of the largest chain restaurants in America and perhaps the whole world. This is what Ray Kroc and McDonald's customer tells the two brothers, changing the course of the McDonald's brand story. Ray Kroc understands well that McDonald's can become so significant that it takes root throughout America. 
So he rolls up his sleeves to expand the McDonald's brand. McDonald's in the 21st century. The efforts of the McDonald's brand to buy land in previous years pay off in the 1970s, 80s and 90s. Now, McDonald's is one of the largest landowners in the United States and the explosive growth of its branches is remarkable. More than a few tens of thousands of branches. But it seems that not everything is as straightforward as advertising suggests. So, a simple public survey shows that the McDonald's brand has been so preoccupied with this rapid expansion that it has completely forgotten about maintaining the quality of its food. The image people have of McDonald's restaurants is that of a brand with very fatty and unhealthy food. What is the solution? Advertising. McDonald's launches extensive advertising to solve this problem. Introduces new foods to the menu, seeks help for the public to create new food combinations and etc. Although these actions once again bring McDonald's to people's lips, they aren't enough to cleanse the negative image of this brand from people's mind. In the 21st century, McDonald's is not only faced with customer dissatisfaction, but also competes with brands like Burger King and Five Guys, making its journey difficult. And the conclusion, it has been about 80 years since the opening of the small sandwich shop by the McDonald's brothers. The McDonald's brand is one of the most enduring names in the minds of people worldwide. McDonald's, which initially entered the market with the goal of providing fast and inexpensive food, has grown large with the desire to create a collocative identity for the people of America and the world, gaining widespread fame. And here is the McDonald's brand's story over these years is nuts just about selling inexpensive hamburgers, which are remembered for the establishment of Hamburger University and the massive investments of this brand in land and property. It's amazing. Today, after 80 years, the McDonald's brand stands alongside its customers by producing healthy food. Can you believe it? Creating food diversity paying attention to culinary culture and adhering to environmental considerations to achieve its American dream while embarrassing its customers. Could you solve the puzzles posed in the first part of the video? Yes, you can uplift us! Hit the subscribe button and energize our creativity!